The Baltimore Red Line is a light rail transit project that will connect the centers for Medicare and Medicaid in Woodlawn with the Johns Hopkins Bayview Medical Center in East Baltimore. The Red Line will be operated on surface tracks and inside tunnels through downtown, Fells Point, and into Canton. The downtown tunnel will actually consist of two separate tunnels constructed using special machines called Tunnel Boring Machines, or TBMs. These tunnel boring machines can dig through rock and other materials found below the ground surface. The entrances to the tunnel, called portals, provide a transition between the tunnel and the surface. The downtown tunnel's west portal will be located near the intersection of Mulberry Street and Fremont Avenue. The downtown tunnel's east portal will be in the center of Boston Street, near the intersection of Boston Street, South Montford Avenue, and Hudson Street. The work zone required to construct the East Portal will extend from just west of South Montford Avenue to just west of the Harris Creek outlet. The portal is made up of two elements, a large structure called a cut and cover box at the end of the tunnel that will be covered over when complete, and an open trench. This video describes ideas under consideration to allow pedestrian and auto traffic to pass the construction site. The video is intended only to illustrate the traffic shifts required for construction and does not represent the actual construction activities, equipment or construction personnel required to complete the work. Each of the following concepts may include short duration temporary lane closures in addition to what is described. Concept 1 involves closing Boston Street from west of the intersection with Montford Avenue to west of the Harris Creek culvert under Boston Street. This would include the intersection of Boston Street with South Montford Avenue and Hudson Street. The initial closure would be for approximately nine months while the retaining walls are constructed and the cut and cover box prepared for decking. During the closures, traffic would be diverted away from Boston Street using parallel main roadways such as Eastern Avenue and Fleet Street. Local traffic would be diverted using the local street network. If possible, local access to the adjacent businesses and homes would be provided through each end of the work area. Once decked, Boston Street would be reopened to traffic for approximately one year while work on the cut and cover box is completed. Boston Street would be closed again for approximately three months to remove the temporary decking and construct the roadway to its final configuration. Concept 2 provides a temporary detour road along the front of the Anchorage townhomes. This temporary detour road would be constructed and in place for approximately two years. The intersections of Boston Street with South Montford Avenue and Hudson Street would be closed for the duration of the construction on the East Portal. The temporary detour roadway would be constructed prior to any work occurring on Boston Street and would include one lane of traffic in each direction and a sidewalk on the south side of the temporary roadway. Construction of the portal would begin once traffic was shifted to the temporary roadway. Once construction of the portal is complete and Boston Street is in its final configuration, traffic would be placed back onto Boston Street, the temporary roadway would be removed, and the landscaped area in front of the Anchorage townhomes would be restored. Concept 3, shown in this video, has been developed in response to comments received from residents and business owners. In this concept, Boston Street would remain open with one lane of traffic in each direction, driveways and business entrances would remain open, and sidewalks maintained throughout construction. In Concept 3, six major phases of traffic operations are required during the three-year construction process. In Phase 1, the intersections of Boston Street with South Montford Avenue and Hudson Street would be closed. Utilities, including water, sewer, and electrical lines, would be relocated outside the footprint of the red line. Medians and turn islands would be removed. Sidewalks would be modified. This would be accomplished through temporary lane closures typically used in the city for road work. Starting with this phase of work, entrances and exits from parking lots within the work zone would be through right turns only. No left turns would be allowed. Phase 2A would shift traffic to the north side of Boston Street. 
The walls used to support the excavation would be constructed, and the excavation required for the south side of the cut and cover box would be started. After approximately five months, the excavation would be decked over, allowing traffic to drive over the work zone. Phase 2B would then shift traffic to the south side of Boston Street, allowing the north side of the portal to be constructed. After approximately five months of excavation, the area would be decked over, allowing traffic to drive over the work zone. Excavation of the cut and cover portions of the portal would continue under the temporary decking. Phase 3 moves eastbound and westbound traffic to the far outside lanes of Boston Street while the retaining walls for the transition from the tunnel to street level are constructed. Phase 4A shifts all traffic back to the north side of Boston Street. At this point, the tunnel boring machine would have completed its work on the eastbound tunnel. It can then be lifted out of the ground and removed from the construction area. While traffic is on the north side of Boston Street, heavy construction work on the south side of Boston Street would resume. Phase 4B then shifts all traffic back to the south side of Boston Street. The tunnel boring machine, having completed its job, is lifted from the tunnel and hauled away, and the north side of Boston Street would be reconstructed. Phase 5 again splits traffic to the outside lanes of Boston Street to allow final excavation and laying of the track bed in the portal. Phase 6 moves traffic to its final position. While sidewalks, street lighting, landscaping and other streetscape elements are constructed to their finished condition. Once the remainder of the red line is completed, this new light rail line will be open for travel. We hope that this video has helped to explain the three concepts developed to maintain pedestrian and auto traffic during construction of the portal. In summary, with a portal construction duration of 24 to 30 months, Concept 1 would involve closure of Boston Street during two periods, requiring vehicles to use a detour route. Concept 2, which also has a 24 to 30 month portal construction period, would allow vehicles to travel through the construction area by shifting Boston Street traffic to the south onto a temporary roadway on private property. Although Concept 3 has the longest duration of 30 to 36 months due to more complicated construction, it does not require additional property for construction and allows pedestrians and autos to travel through the area through the construction period. As the design of the project continues and moves towards the selection of a maintenance of traffic plan for the portal construction, the Red Line team will continue to work with city agencies and the community providing continued communications and ongoing business and residential coordination. Additional project information is available on our website at www.baltimoreredline.com. You can ask questions or offer your feedback by contacting the Baltimore Red Line at 443-451-3707 or info at baltimoreredline.com.